Hello everybody and welcome back to another Deep Ogre Review. Today we're going to be taking a look at the brand new Marvel Legends Target exclusive, The Astonishing Ant-Man, Ant-Man. Now I know this is supposed to be Scott Lang in the comic books, the Astonishing Ant-Man comics, but it's classic. It's the classic costume. This is the classic Hank Pym Ant-Man we've all been waiting and craving for. And I know that people, some, may have a um, bone to pick with this just because it's using an older body. It's on the uh, Sunfire body or Spider-Man 2099 body, uh, which isn't pinless, as you can see. But we'll get more into that in detail. Uh, but it's just, I don't know, this is the classic Ant-Man we've been needing and waiting for. Um, but, so... With that out of the way, with the intro out of the way, let's get into his hands. And for his accessories, he only comes with two fists, which uh, he could have easily come with a miniature Ant-Man. Like, am I right? I, I, I don't want to go out and, like, buy a Toy Biz Ant-Man just so I can get the miniatures. Where are your ants? <laughs> yes. they're, they're at home uh, in the ant farm. It's just not worth it to me, but I digress. Um, very beautiful. Well, it's not beautiful. It's just Marvel Legends fists. We've probably seen these a thousand and one times. But um, they're cast in a nice baby blue, just like these relaxed hands. And obviously they're easy enough just to pop off. And I have the wrong fist and pop on and this is the configuration he is out of the box left is the relaxed hand right is the fist and the accessories are right relaxed left fist so yeah that's his default look out of the box so uh, that's pretty much it for his accessories sadly like I said I would have loved to see a miniature Ant-Man but if you really wanted one, I bet you could either customize one, or you could go out and search eBay to find one. And just for his body detail, the main new thing on this figure, besides the belt, uh, which is a new piece, I believe, uh, I think it's just a, like a whole new shape from the retro one that we got years and years ago. But for that head sculpt, ooh man, that thing is beautiful. They got that beautiful beautiful photo real eyes damn and the lips just look fantastic beautiful head sculpt it looks more like hank pym than it does scott lang from the comics in my opinion i just really really love this head sculpt especially with this helmet these antennae are a soft kind of rubbery piece so they're not going to snap on you or break. I wouldn't like bend it because that might break it. But you know, they're they're not easy to break. And yeah, I wouldn't be too worried about messing around with them. Uh, just make sure that you're not forcing them down or having his head lean up against anything. Because that will warp the antennae. And that would be really annoying, at least in my opinion. But I'm pretty sure you get some black lines and that little speaker thing right here. The kind of ant-like jaws coming around. Um, that's another thing he could have come with is an ant. I would have loved to come in, or to see him come with an ant uh, accessory and a mini version of himself. Even if it was like that tall, I would have, you know, just anything other than just two pairs of hands with Ant-Man. Um... But you do get a nice gloss black right here around the neck, coming down, circular area for the chest. Mine, I don't know why, but it looks really off-center. Like, they, they just getting it in front of the camera, I haven't realized that until now, but it looks like this line is kind of going this way, other than just being straight up and down, but... Mm, whatever. Yeah, you can kind of see that is the case because it doesn't line up with this belly line, but that's fine. That does travel all the way down and I think across to the back. Actually, no, it stops midway so you don't have to see it on the back. So that's pretty, that's actually pretty nice. I do also wish for paint apps that these 
had a black outline around them, the little spikes. That would have been a very nice detail, but as is, I don't really mind. Again, pins, but again, I've been collecting Marvel Legends for like six years. I'm used to pins, it doesn't bother me at this point. Would it be nice? Yeah, but whatever. Nice belt, another gloss black kind of piece. It is rubbery, so it does get out of the way. And it is a separate piece, so it does float a little bit. Silver for his little control panel right there. Blue for his underwear and his butt. Got that Ant-Man butt and crotch. Deep V, damn, that guy. Mm. Red for the rest. Just cast in red. Nice muscle definition and detail. And blue for the boots. It would have been nice to see that little line the edges here but whatever it gives us a nice boot swivel so i can't complain and you do get those kind of weird duck feet which eh, whatever it's not that big of a deal in my opinion for articulation you'd have a hinge coming up to a ball at the top of the head you can look up about that far down very far and you get a very nice amount of tilt and obviously side to side. Arm is on a butterfly joint. It can go forward that far. If you angle it up a little bit and out, he can go all across his body. And then back, very nice, very far. Full 360 right there. Out, about that far. Down, about that far. Bicep swivel. It's kind of detinty. There's a lot of detents in it. Double jointed elbow can get up. Uh, way past 90, almost all the way up. Wrist swivel, hinge, uh, side to side. Ab crunch, can crunch forward that far. Can crunch back that far. Can swivel at the waist. Beautiful Ant-Man spread. Leg, can kick up, about that far. Back, about that far. Thigh swivel. Double jointed knees, can kick his anti-ass, kind of. Yeah, there you go. And a boot swivel. Foot can go up about that far, down about that far, and a beautiful ankle pivot. For a comparison here, yes, next to the Transformers Earthrise Optimus Prime and the Transformers Classics Optimus Prime. And here he is next to some Marvel Legends, the Marvel Legends Walgreens exclusive Silver Centurion Iron Man, West Coast Avengers, you know. And here he is next to the Marvel Legends Red Skull. I really want to get that Dr. Eggman, and I desperately need a comic book Ultron. Here he is next to the Marvel Legends 20th Captain America. I have a review up for him if you want to go check that out. And here he is next to the Marvel Legends Doctor Doom. And last but not least, here he is next to the Marvel Legends Walgreens exclusive Reed Richards with the uh, black costume bearded head on. And here he is next to the Marvel Legends Wolverine 2-pack Hulk. Ants! Ants! Ant-Man! Now for my final thoughts. I, I'm having a lot of fun with this figure. As you can see from the photos, I've taken a lot of really nice photos. I've tried experimenting with removing the background of Ant-Man and making him smaller and taking up close shots. I just, I don't, I'm having so much fun with this figure. It's just a fun figure. And on top of that, in, at least in the Colorado Springs area, he's not hard to find. I went to Walmart, or sorry, Target, and they had an abundance of everything. Uh, they had three Ant-Mans. Well, after I left, they had two. But they had a couple Yondus. They had the new X-Men wave. And they had another wave. I can't remember which one. Uh, but they're stocking. They're stocking Marvel Legends. And it's really, really good to see. Oh, they had the Puff Adder wave. Yeah. Um, but it's really nice to see that this guy is getting out there and getting distributed. Um, if you're not lucky enough, then I'd say just... To pull it up on Target. He's still on the Target website. Not really hard, that hard to find. Um, have him look up the UPC and, and like have him call you when it comes in or something. Because if you want a classic Ant-Man, it doesn't get much better than this in my opinion. Of course, they could have used the Vulcan body, but it doesn't really 
it, it doesn't really affect me uh, personally. If it does you, then you take action figures too seriously. You're not having fun with the hobby. Uh, at least that's my opinion. And they could have added a lot more accessories. Like I said earlier, they could have added an ant, maybe. A smaller miniature Ant-Man to show his power. But other than that, it's fine. It's It's what it is. And what it is, is a very fun and awesome, awesome looking action figure. So, thank you guys for watching. I'm going to give this guy a 10 out of 10. I don't know why I enjoy this so much. It's just, ah, so amazing. Thank you guys for watching. If you liked the video, leave a like. If you haven't already, subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.